Hello and welcome to another video in which we will review Brent's method for finding roots of a function. It's a very important method and often the recommended choice if the derivative of the function is impossible or difficult to compute. It is a hybrid method that combines the robustness of the bisection method with the speed of the secant or inverse quadratic interpolation methods. The method assumes that a root of f of x equals to 0 has been initially bracketed in the interval from a to b, which is provided by the user as an input to the algorithm. In Brent's method, we are given a function f and the interval a to b, and we check if f of a and f of b have opposite signs such that a root lies in the interval. For better convergence of Brent's method, we swap a and b if the magnitude of f of a is smaller than f of b. Then we choose an initial point c equals to a. Now we have three points. We can use inverse quadratic interpolation to find the next estimate provided that f of a, f of b and f of c are distinct. If they are not, we will use the secant method instead. If the next estimate does not lie in the interval a b or it does not pass the criterion to be considered as a reliable estimate, we use bisection method to estimate the next point. In step 5, we update values by setting c equals to b and b to s and then update the corresponding function values. We check for convergence and if a stopping criterion is not met, we iterate for the next estimate. This is the Python code for Brent's method. When applied to a function x cubed minus 1, we were able to find the root in 9 iterations for the interval with an a value equal to minus 2 and b value equals to 5. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.